Yes, those same projects that uh, David was showing, um, I've got them open on my device as well. Um, I've logged in, it's connected to Wi-Fi. I can see the MCAA Tech Conference uh, project here, and I'm going to launch that open. Once I'm within that project, I can see all the data, both 2D and uh, 3D, that David and Dustin have uploaded into this project. I can go in here and individually open any of those models. I can see active RFIs or to-dos, predefined like views, as David was talking about. But what I'm going to open is our sequences. So basically, uh, a sequence is the ability to go into one of our desktop tools and take that model and basically cut it into steps and add instructions for each of those steps. So it's essentially creating an IKEA manual through mixed reality and then being able to precisely align it out uh, in, in your setting. So we'll go ahead and open up that hydronic rack one assembly that was created. And go ahead and pin it to the table. So when I first pin it, it's not at one-to-one -one scale. This is not um, exactly uh, to scale. It's not aligned. It's not uh, where I want it. But I'll show you guys how how to do that. Um, but before I get into that, you can kind of see I've got the ability to come out and manipulate that. You can see my hands; they're not going to perfectly line up on your screen. But I can move, rotate, get a really good view of that assembly that was created before I actually do anything with it. And before I go ahead and align it, I want to make sure that we've went and we've actually grabbed the right parts to use. So we'll go ahead and open my menu, go to Explore and Info. And from here, let me move that panel just out of the way a little bit. From here, I can uh, tap on one of these stop valves here, bulb valves, and scroll down through some of our information. We're going to click on Identity Data and confirm some of our info here. So we'll scroll down, and Dave, I believe you said it is Work Package 12, correct? Yeah, should be in Work Package 12. All right, and then if I scroll up a little bit further, we've got Spoon Tag, uh, we've got Hydronic Rack 1, that's correct, yeah? You got the right one, yep. All right, and the order, this was the, uh, so that valve was the Nibco 595, yeah? That's what it should be. And that's what we've got on the table, cool. All right, so we've confirmed that we've got the right parts pulled, Let's go ahead and do an alignment and start building this thing. Back to our menu. And we're going to do navigate. We're going to hop to one to one. So now by doing that, now the model's at one to one scale. And then we're going to use our fine tune alignment tool to put it in the right spot. So we're just going to place it here on the table. Like my orientation is looking pretty good. Bring it down. And we've placed it on the table. It's actually a little bit low. Let me get our brackets up a little higher. How does that look? Hold that just a little bit. And we're in a good spot. Alright, cool. Alright, so one one scale aligned on my table in digital format. So let's go ahead and build this sucker. So I'm going to ask Dustin to help me a little bit on my assembly. He can't see what I'm seeing though. Um, so I'm going to go to Tools and we're going to go ahead and open that sequence. So when I do that, I get the sequencing panel and I kind of just put it off to the left here a little bit. And that sequence panel is going to allow me to step through each of these steps and see the instructions that were created by Dave. So step one, place left strut and attach hangers after the pipe is attached to the strut. All right. So we see this strut here. Let's go ahead and place this guy. We're just going to tape it down. My understanding is you guys would usually use magnets for this out in the shop. And it looks good to me, maybe not to you guys. I promise it looks good. All right, place right strut two foot away from the left strut. All right, where's that? Right about. Pretty good. Can you tilt this in a little bit? Yeah, that looks good. Just that a little bit. There, we'll take that down. Those are a good spot. Cool. Alright, so let's start putting some plumbing in here. So, the next step place the pipe assembly with piece number seven, six and three inches away from the furthest edge of the strut. 
All right, so that's over there. Piece number seven. Yep, this is piece number seven. All right, Dave, very impressive. Let's get this aligned in the right spot. That looks pretty on the money right there. Yeah. All right, that's good. Hold it down right there. Got a hold of it? Yep. We'll go ahead and put this guy. All right, first one together. All right, Dustin, let's get this guy in there. That looks good right there. I think you moved it on me. Yeah, no worries. Yep, yeah, right there. Yeah, looks good to me. All right, next step. Like back assembly with piece number 14, four inches away from the last one. All right, there she is. So this is piece number 14. Let's get this in place. Looks good right there. Yes. Okay. 